So like I said, I'm proud of our team for fighting, competing, giving us a chance in the fourth quarter. It's a ridiculous way to start the game. Uh, credit the Chargers, they're a good football team on uh, all three phases. But uh, I'll answer any questions I can. What was the key to slowing down Mike Williams? He's been on a hot streak, so what was the key for you to kind of slow him down? You know, we, we had a – I can answer other questions. I don't know if we slowed him down enough. We may have slowed Mike Williams down, but we didn't stop him enough. That's the big thing. What made Jer Justin Herbert so tough to defend? He's a good quarterback. They got a heck of an offense. They got a lot of weapons, and they got a lot of different kinds of plays, and he can execute them. He's a special talent. Do you have any update right now on Trayvon Mullen? No, we lost a couple corners. Arnett went out, Mullen went out, Nate Hobbs went out at the end of the game. So um, I'll have an update later in the week. John, I, I know you lost. There's no moral victories, but could you please talk about the fans? They certainly showed up. Oh, it was great. You know, it was great. It's always great to have the support of the Raider fans, and we're sorry we let them down. But uh, we cannot come out and uh, take that many punches in the first round. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our guys showing a toughness to get up and keep fighting, but that, that was ridiculous tonight. They got on us and they got after us in all three phases, and uh, we found a way to make it a football game and give ourselves a chance, but it's just too hard in this league against good teams. What's it it's ridiculous? Team? Is it more a frustration with your team, or is it or is it just admiration for the Chargers? I think it's a combination of a lot of things. You know, you can't, uh, you can't deny that the Chargers are a good football team. They are an excellent team, and um, they proved it again tonight. They're going to go places this year. They're going to be a force to be dealt with. But um, we had penalties that were ridiculous. Uh, we gave up some plays in a passing game today that you can't give up. And um, we didn't play well in the first half. What's it going to take to get the defense ready for teams like the Chiefs and the Broncos? Who seem well, you know, we're going to have to play better in all areas, not just defense. Uh, it would help with Mullen and, and, and Arnett. Some of our guys were back there, I think, helping us. But... I'm not going to make any excuses. Uh, they went for it in some critical fourth downs. I give them credit. Backed up in their own territory in a tight football game. They converted some critical plays on fourth down twice. Um, they went all out tonight to make plays, and they did. Is there anything that you can share with us that you, you, you told the team at halftime, maybe not schematically, but um, you know that, that changed uh, the, the, the play of your, your team in the second half? That was one of the greatest speeches of all time, I'll tell you. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. You know, now you don't want to hear what I said before the game because every, everything didn't work either. There was a, there was a, a taunting penalty on, on Waller. What was your thoughts on that? It seemed when he scored the touchdown. I he don't could... understand the taunting. I understand. I hate taunting. I think it's ridiculous. I think what happens after an interception or a touchdown, we allow these celebrations. I consider that taunting. I, I don't understand what happened over there on the Chargers sideline, but the official made the call. We have to deal with it. We couldn't get any momentum going. That didn't help us. You guys had three cornerbacks go down due to injury. Um, so you know, you know, how, did, how tough was it to deal with you know, all those fights? That's tough. You know, we had a lot of guys go down. You know, Jacobs went out. Pete Barber went out. Carrier was not able to play, so we lost a lot of our three tight end sets. But, you know, they lost players, too. We're all going to have to deal and adapt. And um, hopefully we can get some guys ready. we got a short week. Got to get back home and get ready. I'm proud of our team. I'm going to reiterate that. We're three and one. We've had some tough overtime victories, and we fought back to put ourselves in a position to make a dramatic comeback tonight. Uh, we just didn't make the plays. John, you were driving to tie the game, a second and five run, a third and three sack. What did you see in those two plays? Well, obviously, second and five, you know, we give the ball to Josh, and uh, didn't get much. I think we got a yard and a half or so. And then on third down, they play good defense. Can you tell us the explanation they gave you for a weather delay on an indoor stadium? No, I'm not an engineer. I have no idea. I mean, I have never heard that. I thought it was a, a, a joke, but, you know, it affected both teams. And certainly, you know, the locker room here is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. I mean, you can't see anybody. It's like a maze. So, um, you know, whoever whoever contorted this visiting <laughs> locker room, I'd like to meet this guy, see what his... Um, what his idea was. Let's how did that delay? Tomorrow. How did that delay adversely impact your team? I, I, it didn't. It didn't have anything to do. With it. At this point in the season, do you still feel the Raiders would be a good contention contender for the playoffs and the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm not gonna get a, get all deep and philosophical, and make a bunch of predictions. You saw the game. We we got we got beat pretty soundly in the first half. We came back and we showed some football character. I know we we have a lot of that. We're gonna lean on here and continue to learn. We got some injuries we got to learn about. We got to get ready for the Bears on a short week.
your feelings uh, are going to get hurt in this league sometimes. And uh, certainly ours are hurting right now. But thank you, guys.